London's fun and amusing. It's exciting. It's also hard work. There's lots of stimulation. You have the very, very way out gear in London. I find great stimulation from all the sort of clothes that I see in the shops when I wander around London. Also from the people that I see wandering around the streets. wandering around looking at some of the old streets of London. Just wandering around gives one great atmosphere and stimulation. There is great atmosphere in London. I like the very smart places. I love going to Covent Garden. I adore the theatre, opera and ballet there. If you turn not, you will return the sooner. Keep this remembrance for thy Julia's sake. Why, then, we'll make exchange. Here, take you this. And seal the bargain with a holy kiss. Of course, when one's taking shots of models around London, it's fun if one can include in the background um, historical London, such as Big Ben, Tower Bridge. This sort of includes the city of London, as well as linking it with fashion, which I think goes across to people very well. London. I love going to restaurants where you see amusing people, where you see film people, you see actors, you see designers, and you see the way out people who add quite a lot of amusement. On. It's great fun. Looking at the city at Tower Bridge, the sunset, it's very romantic. London is a very exciting city. Paris is always for me a city for lovers. 
a city of uh, sunlight and shadow. I think you can go nowhere in Paris without being aware of a kind of uh, romance eternel <laughs> that is the heart of the city. chef in one of the great restaurants of Paris. For me, uh, to create a great meal is to create a work of art. The seasoning that flavor a super filet of soul. The light, the delicate aroma of a superb sauce. Everything with a very light touch. comes from the heart. It is for me uh, not work, but pleasure. in Paris, uh, I, uh, how do you say, uh, I, I feel the city. For those who live in Paris and those who come to Paris, food is very important. lunch, a déjeuner. It is not rushed. One takes his time and lingers a little and learns to enjoy what is good in life. I think it was Molière who said uh, good food, good wine good company is all a man need to be happy. I said, <laughs> it is an art. I think um, my favorite time of day in Paris is just before evening on the great boulevards. There is such a great sense of life, of pleasure. And I think it comes from that special light that makes this city so different from all the cities in the world. In Paris, you can dine well in so many different kinds of restaurants. In small, inexpensive bistros, in boulevard cafes, and in beautiful restaurants all over the city. Of course, no evening in Paris is complete without the great experience that is uh, Maxime's. It 
is not just a great restaurant, oh no, it is much, much more. You see what I mean when I say my work, my art, my city are all one thing, one thing together. In Florence, there are many beautiful hidden things. The harmony of the houses, the rapport that there is between the human figures, the human dimension in the buildings, not only the more beautiful, more famous works of architecture like Santa Maria del Fiore, Santa Maria Novella, it is also the same with little houses, the houses where modest people live. There is a dimension so proportioned to the human dimension that creates in Florence a marvelous atmosphere. Perhaps I should not say this because I am Florentine, but I think that it is so. And I think that the tourists, the foreigners who are not from Florence, must find this, particularly those who come to Florence to study.
The goldsmiths are very important in Florence. Their work is very, very much closer to works of true art than you can find in other cities. crafts of superior character, which are also very close to art, like leather craft. There are two things I love, sculpture and music. Fortunately, in Florence, we have an important musical life. Then there is another part of the artist. It is the work itself, the possibility to be able to express certain ideas that the artist has. In my work, I try to convey a feeling of harmony and peace. If we don't have those things during our life, we look for them. I think Rome uh, is a woman. She is very beautiful, uh, very charming, uh, <laughs> a little temperamental, of course, but uh, always changing. I am a paparazzo, how you call um, a news photographer. My business is stories about people, famous people, important people, sometimes just people.
great hotels of Rome and sit by the uh, swimming pool, you find good pictures, <laughs> good stories. Five o'clock in the afternoon, every day, all of Rome comes to the Café Doni and the Via Veneto. Mm. So I am here always with my camera, uh, which tells the story of all the interesting people one can find in Rome. I go to the little restaurants, um, the inexpensive ones, uh, the trattoria, for the very best food in all Rome. Spaghetti, osso buco, zuppo di pesce, and a great red wine. My life, my work, is the life of the city. On a Sunday morning in June or May, uh, in a fiaca, this is the horse carriage, two horses, and a very old-fashioned carriage. You have the man who is uh, driving this, and he's explaining everything to you in a very bad English. for me easily because I am a singer is music. Always when I come back to Vienna I feel that you can do the music here so well because the air is full of tradition.
has one famous, famous pastry shop. This is Demel. And we all love every piece of Demel because when you make a present and, and you say this is from Demel, you never can go wrong and it's always wonderful. the fashionable Franciscana. This is a restaurant like a home and you can sit in small rooms and you get the most lovely Viennese dishes. <laughs> 